18 months after it was filmed around Oxfordshire, Lady Godiva is about to hit the cinemas. It was written and directed by 22-year-old Vicky Dewson from Oxford. The film's a modern twist on the medieval tale of a woman who rides naked through the streets for a cause she feels passionate about. Vicky came into the studio a short time ago and told me how she's feeling about the reaction she'll get to the film. Pretty nervous. I'm fairly confident that the public will like it, I hope. Um, but it's our national press show today and all the critics are going to be seeing it in one big hit. And I'm quite convinced that they'll hate it. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a huge investment for you, isn't it? Because, what, is it three years since you would have started writing the script for it? Yes, it's, it has been a long three years, particularly as I thought I was going to make it in three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> but that's still not a long time, is it, by some film standards? No, most films, particularly first-time directors, take about ten years to get on the road, so apparently I'm speedy. <laughs> <laughs> now, this is a twist on the original Lady Godiva story, isn't it? Because yes. she rode through Coventry, angry about taxes. She did indeed. We do show that in the first ten minutes of the film. It's a medieval reenaction, which is quite sweeping and epic. But then the rest totally removes the taxes, because they're quite boring, and uh, <laughs> focuses on a modern-day love story. And there was much excitement when um, you filmed on Magdalen Bridge in Oxford. A naked lady on a horse. Lots of excitement. <laughs> yeah, 4 a.m. in the morning as well, so everybody was in high spirits. She wasn't totally naked, though, was she? Well, she had sort of patches covering certain areas, but whilst you can see bits of that in the film if you look really carefully, in some shots she'll have them and in some shots she doesn't because she had to take them off in the end for the close-ups. And then in the bit in France where she is stark naked, she was naked for a whole day in November. You're... Don't mind me saying, but you are so confident. I mean, you're only you're 22. How on earth do you have the confidence to get this project off the ground? I'm just doing what I love, and I think that gives would give anyone an inner confidence. How did you get interested in film? Uh, ever since I was about seven years old, I've had a camera in my hands. So it's something I don't even know where it started. I just love storytelling. I love entertaining, and this is what it's born. But it's such an achievement for you because not only have you got it made, but actually you're getting it shown in cinemas, which lots of people who make films never manage. How did you do that? That's true. Um, it's been six months of hard slog to get it in the cinemas, and uh, we've been very fortunate to have Showcase take it on for all their screens and then the Odeon in Oxford. We got slammed, dunked and rejected many, many times before we got to that stage. And in the end, we thought, look, we'll just show it to the cinemas, we'll put it in front of them. If they don't like it, then we know it's not going to make a theatrical release. But if they like it, yes, we've done it. So we cut out the middlemen, so to speak, went straight to the cinemas, and thank God they liked it. And very briefly, the premiere is on Tuesday. The 22nd, everyone come out and have a look, because we're going to have pink carpet, horse and carts. Leicester Square is coming to Oxford. <laughs> to the Odeon Oxford. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Vicky. Thank you.